Tribal. This is your village. But the time period. This is far in the future after mankind is gone. This can't be the fate the world is moving towards. somewhere.
Ming? What are you doing here? This is a future that I could not save. Is that really you, Lightning? Do you doubt me? <sighs> no, it's good to doubt. You're growing up. I knew it. It is you, isn't it? I've been looking everywhere for you. Where have you been? What was that dream you made me see? Why did you make me come out here? Just listen, Sarah. I'll explain everything. Everything that's happened to me in the past, and about the one who wants to destroy the future. More than one miracle took place that day. Cocoon was saved by Fang and Vanille's sacrifice. We awoke from our crystal sleep, and our brands were gone. It was Atro's blessing that was our salvation. A gate opened into the unseen realm, and through it, the goddess gifted us with her mercy. Know what that is, Dodge? That's our home, Cocoon. Must be your first time seeing it from the outside, huh? Yeah! Daddy! It reminded me of you, and why I had to go on. I felt a whirlwind of emotions. You're the reason I'm standing here right A large part of it was happiness, and relief was there too. But somewhere inside, I still felt uneasy. Vanille and Fang were gone, and the world hung in silence. Our fight had just ended, but I couldn't relax. A new battle was about to begin. What is that? Watch out! The events of that day tore open a portal to another world. And from the depths of the rift appeared a darkness that had no place in our world. An irresistible force that dragged me away to the edge of time. The screams of the dying had unlocked a gate. A door that led directly to the throne of the goddess. Etro waited beyond the gate and sent her miracles to the human world. But a creeping darkness slipped through and threatened to devour our reality. Etro closed the gate, and warped the timeline. Time's flow was altered, and existence itself was distorted. I was lost. The darkness caught me in its embrace, and wrote me out of history. Beyond time, beyond life and death. Another world of shifting gloom. The chaotic realm of the goddess Etro. What power had brought me to this alien shore? From Valhalla's heart, I could track the entire span of time. I gazed upon the future of mankind, and sensed Etro's divine will. The goddess was fading away. If her spirit should cease to be, the world would descend into entropy. I made my choice. I will fight. This man, Caius Ballad, he seeks to destroy all hope and bring an end to the future. Though the battle might be endless, I will never give up. Etro has chosen.
chosen us, her champions, and we cannot fail. It all started with Valhalla, is that right? Whatever came from there created the paradoxes, caused the gates to appear, and twisted the timeline. <gasps> Lightning! What did you see? I don't know. It was an enormous power, something that shouldn't exist in this world. Only Etro can control the power and keep it contained in Valhalla. If she were to disappear, there would be nothing to stop it. And that's what Caius wants. He plans to find Etro sleeping in her temple, kill her, and release the power. The chaos would be unleashed into the world of humans, into our world, through the Unseen Gate. A gate? When a person dies, her soul flies to the other world and passes through that portal. If a great many people die at once, the gate must open wide to let them through. For example, if Cocoon should fall. Exactly. It would be unstoppable. The power of chaos would gush through the gate like flood water through a broken dam. What would happen to the world then? Chaos would infect everything. It would become pure entropy, without life, or death, or time. No life or death? You mean like Valhalla? <gasps> That's what Caius is after! If he can bring down Cocoon, millions of people would die, and the power of Chaos would turn this world into another Valhalla. Yes. Caius is trying to create a world where time does not exist. If he can erase time... Yule would be saved. And not just Yule. All the Cirrus is down to the ages. They'd be released from their curse. Hmm. He wants to sacrifice Cocoon to rebuild the world in Valhalla's image, all for the sake of Yule. That's why you were fighting Caius in Valhalla. You're protecting Etro. We have to face Caius on two fronts, in Valhalla and in the world of humans. If we don't, we won't be able to change the future. I can't do it on my own. I need your help. Lightning then told us what would happen to Cocoon. In 500 AF, the old Cocoon would collapse and fall into pulse, the crystal pillar no longer strong enough to support it. By that time, Hope and the Academy would have completed the new Cocoon, but... When they attempted to launch it, Caius would intervene. He would smash it into the old Cocoon and bring them both down. So we have to travel to 500 AF and stop Caius from destroying Cocoon. If we can change this prophecy, then the true timeline will finally be restored. Yes. Everything will depend on you. I have to go to Valhalla and stop Caius there. Can you do it? We can do it. Right. Your good luck charm will show the way. Papa! Leave it to me, Papa! Lightning, we'll be able to be together again, right? When all this is over? Hmm. One thing at a time, Sarah. The truth is, I didn't want to let her go. I'd come so far to find her, I was afraid to lose her again. But I had to be strong, for her sake. She had her own battles ahead of her. So I swallowed the words I wanted to say and hid my fear. It was the hardest thing I ever did.
remain beyond the boundaries of Valhalla for long, Kubo. But still, I was finally able to talk with her. And it's all thanks to Noel. Let's go keep Hope's new cocoon in one piece. If we pull it off, then lightning can return fully to a restored world.
Sarah in the future. Can you hear me? I'm sending you the access codes for the supply spheres. The final battle with your ultimate nemesis draws near. I hope the contents are of some use to you. Good old Hope. He's still helping us fight. I guess the future is in our hands now. Been given a second chance by the goddess herself. You're going to save the cocoon that Hope built. Yep. And save the future, too. <laughs> hey, Caius. You told us. You wanted to save Yule by destroying the world. That if you could take away our future, Yule wouldn't have to see any more prophecies and she wouldn't have to die. You really are a fool. Yule never wanted the world destroyed. She never gave in to despair. In the end, when she died, she was smiling. She saw a future of hope. Caius Ballad, I am going to fight you and show you the truth. I'm going to show you the future that Yule really wanted. <laughs> <laughs> 